So you need to learn to let go. Um, this morning I got into my office and I didn't have the keys to my office because um, frankly, we got a new car. And so I have a different set of keys. And so then I had to wait to get into my office um, to get somebody to let me into my office. And then um, 20 minutes later, um, I got a phone call um, that my kids are missing something. So I had to run in the car and drive for 20 minutes or 30, but basically it'll be 30 minutes out of my day to go drop this thing off. And um, it's, it's part of me always gets really stressed out and I need to work on learning to let go and, and realizing that this is part of life. Um, and, you know, we need to remember that, that all of the stuff that goes on, um, you just got to go with it. And I know that some people might have more of these things happen to them just because their life is chaotic. I think I have a lot more of these things that happen to me because, um, A, my life is chaotic, but B, um, I have ADHD, so I tend to, it's easy to forget things quite quickly. Um, so... I want everybody to to just be okay. Um, just take a step back and know that um, this is part of life. It's going to happen. And you need to, to just recognize the fact that it's going to happen and be okay with it. Life, especially as you get more dependence, you have more stuff going on, um, life is very much this chaotic thing where you don't get the time to sit down and do anything. Um, you know, like it doesn't go in a very linear fashion as you might think, as you might sort of plan out, like I'm going to do this and then this and then this It never works out that way. It works out as just chaos and you do your best to actually get that stuff done um, in the midst of all of this chaos going on. And just remember that as you go about your day, just, just be okay with, um, you know, dealing with the chaos instead of viewing like the systematic process where it's this, then this, then this, a better way to view it is that you're boxing. And I think I've used this analogy before where you boxers, if you watch boxers or dancing, um, they, they, they don't just kind of stand there. They kind of jump around and there's very much a dance with their feet work. If you, if you watch it, I, I don't like watching boxing, but you know, I've watched it enough um, to see that there's, you know, just this, this bobbing and weaving that ends up happening. And you kind of over, over the course of, you know, a tournament um, or a match, you do accomplish something as you're bobbing and weaving. And imagine that's what you're doing actually in life in accomplishing something is that you're bobbing and weaving and sort of slowly getting to where you want to go. So um, just remember that as you go about your day, that it's not a linear process. You're not going to go in and just kind of, you know, this is going to be this, then this, then this. Um, and then it's all going to come out in, in, in the end. Just remember, it's just a lot of bobbing and weaving and trying to accomplish something throughout the day. All right. Um, take care and have a wonderful day.